Rick Renteria has been fired by the Chicago White Sox in a very surprising move in my mind. I actually thought that I was the only person who fired managers after a great season. But as it turns out, we're adding Jerry Reinsdorf, Kenny Williams, and Rick Hahn to that list. Owner of the White Sox, president of baseball ops, and GM. Rick Renteria had been managing the White Sox through four seasons, 236 and 309. He is known as a great, great guy. Actually, he's now been fired by the Cubs and the White Sox, Coca. How do you like that? I would say I'm going to have this is obviously ridiculous because we always say that's never happened before, but everything's happened before. He may be the first manager fired by both Chicago teams. Maybe. It sort of makes sense that he would be. I can't think of anyone else. So why did the White Sox do this today? Very bizarre to me. What happened? The White Sox went 35 and 25 in 60 games, made the playoffs, slumped a little bit toward the end of the season, lost the division, played the A's, and took the A's to three games and lost in the wild card round. Great young core with Mankata, Lucas Giolito, a number two starter, pitches like a number one, had a no hitter this year. Louis Robert, who they just signed, who's a superhero. They brought in veterans, Yasmani Grandal and Dallas Keuchel and Gio Gonzalez and Edwin Encarnacion. They went 10 over 500. Rick Renteria's first season as a manager over 500. He went 73 and 89 with the Cubs, got fired, hired by the White Sox. He won, hold on, I actually wrote this down, if you can believe it. 67 games in 17, 62 and 18, 72 and 19. That means he lost 95, 189 and then went 35 and 25 in 2020. I think what the White Sox are saying here is that they need a different voice because they're worried that over a 162 game season, the 60 game sample size would not have continued. It would not have been indicative of a 162 game season. We've had great talks on nothing personal about this. We've done it in terms of the Marlins. We've done it in terms of the Reds as we looked at teams who made the playoffs, may have outperformed in a small sample size, and whether or not you change your evaluation. Remember I told you when you go into a season and you're not sure how good you're going to be and you let yourself get into August and you're in the race, you say, you know what? I may have evaluated wrong. Or if you thought you were going to be good and you're not good, you ignore it in April, you ignore it in May, you ignore it in June, you say there's going to be a switch that's flipped, and you ignore when a good team plays badly until the end of the season. That's how delusional you are when you run a team because you always think we did this in 05 with the Marlins. We did it in 16 with the Marlins where you think it's just going to happen that the switch will be turned on. I don't think the White Sox felt that. I think that we're going to know a lot about this Rick Renteria firing the minute they hire a new manager. Are they going to hire a disciplinary? Rick Renteria is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Are they going to hire a young manager? I talked about this on the queue, talking about what Tampa Bay did when they hired Joe Madden. He was a coach, an up-and-coming manager. No one knew what kind of manager he'd be. He's now going to be in the Hall of Fame as a manager. So you can go with the young, unproven, first-time manager, or you bring in a retread, as we'd call him. That sounds negative and pejorative. I don't mean it to be. It's someone who's been hired and fired before someone who commands immediate respect when they walk into a clubhouse. I think that's the way the White Sox are going to go. Jerry Reinsdorf is an octogenarian, understands that he wants to get his second ring. He has six with the Bulls, one with the White Sox. White Sox haven't won since 05. 15 years, it'll be 16 years and 21. I think they bring in someone, we'll find out, someone with experience, because I think when they evaluate their team, they say to themselves, we've got the core here and we've got to get someone to come in and get this core to perform now. It's going to be sort of interesting to think about when you make decisions. You know, Coca is in my ear saying that he's got a managerial candidate that would be a great candidate for the White Sox. And he's thinking, why not hire the former Red Sox manager and Astros bench coach the suspended Alex Cora, whose suspension will end the minute the World Series is decided, no later than October 28th. 
That's a very interesting choice. Jerry Reinsdorf is very progressive in that way. Would certainly give Alex Cora another chance, I believe. Would be able to manage any sort of bad press that could come. I think that he's also been very, very serious about diversity, having diverse managers. He can deal with all types of personalities, having won the World Series with Ozzie Guillen. I think that's a very good name, Coca. I don't know whether or not they'll go that direction. What I do know is we'll do another segment when they do hire a manager because we will then know exactly what Reinsdorf, Williams, and Hahn think about their team and think about its readiness to win and think about whether or not 2020 was a blip or whether it was indicative of the team that they have. 